I mean, I think that there is, I mean, in it, it, it a broad brush sketch, I tend to think that people tend to go, oh, look, this technology broke this. Oh, what should we do with this technology? And usually you have to say, well, what are the patterns by which we're going to evolve the technology? It's how do you move the clock forward, not how do you move the clock back? Moving the clock back doesn't work um, and has all kinds of other problems. And then the question comes down to is, and this is why it becomes an inherently political question, which is one of the reasons, despite it being timely, I also think it's relevant to the book, which is, well, if we're going to say we're going to start making judgments about what's true and not true, and we're going to start having that as an editorial filter to some degree across these networks, how do we get to that judgment function? Who does the judgment function? How do they have the political and moral authority to do it? <laughs> right? And what does that look like? Because you know, part of the, the challenge is they say, well, you know, we're, 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 we're a democracy. We allow people to say what they think, because you are allowed to say, you know, I think the moon is made out of blue cheese, <laughs> right? even though it's not. Um, hopefully that's not news to anyone. <laughs> um, and, so, uh, and, and that's the problem that I think is the fundamental one that actually underlies this, which is one of the reasons why I raised the question within your renovating democracy, because it isn't just a pure like, okay, let's you know, call up Facebook, Twitter, et cetera, and say, hey, do this, do that. There's some of that stuff, and we try to do that as distance. But some of that is comes the question of, we go, okay, we're going to try to slow down the process. We're going to try to have a deliberative process. We're going to try to involve citizens. We're going to try to experts. We're going to have a, a process that gets to a better outcome versus the hack of an election. But some of this gets down to, well, are we now going to start proposing ways that we're governing speech, right? And we're going to do so within the time clocks that work in these social networks. And I think that's what a lot of people actually mean, but then they don't confront two central questions around it. Like, well, who, <laughs> right, and how? Because uh, they go, oh, you know, you know the, 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 so, the social network company shouldn't do it. And you're like, okay, they kind of think so too, which is one of the reasons they frustrate everyone because they say, well, we're not touching it at all. We're allowing everyone to say what they do and we're just having it as algorithms, which leads, leads to clickbait and other kinds of problems, which is not good for society and, and democracy. But like, who? And then, and then on the who, the, the how do you get there? Because the who gets, con gets uh, debated. So for example, Facebook has the unenviable position where all of the folks on the, a lot of the folks on the left and progressive say, well, all your fake news got Trump elected and all the rest of this stuff, and that's a problem. And the folks on the right say, you're trying to censor conservative voices, and you're a bunch of, you know, everyone in your company is basically a lefty, so we think you're an institution for the left. And so you get to, they take the fire from both sides, and they say, look, we're just trying to do algorithms that allow individuals to express what they want, what they want to do, <laughs> right? And... Um, what's more, we'll take these steps to saying, hey, we'll, we'll just allow more of it to be encrypted and it just individual voices that will authenticate it's actually individual voices and they can do what they want. And that's where they're head, heading. There's a lot of, like, we could spend, you know, a month on this topic. The specific one very relevant to renovating democracy is, well, where does this process of saying we want democracy, we want this kind of accountability to people, but we want this deliberative process how does that play into how we should think about maybe what the next steps on social networks should be?